pal. Hi, Mickey. Mickey Mouse. Kingdom Hearts. And oh, what is up there, guys? Ed the Wiz over here, and we got... We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Actually, it's a lot more than a letter, but check out what we got here. It's the Play Arts Kai Kingdom Hearts 2 Riku figure Square Enix from Play Arts Kai. Now, as many of you know, I'm a huge Kingdom Hearts fan. I have been the number one supporter for getting Sora into Disney Infinity. Just you wait. He's coming. Just you wait. But I just got this in the mail. I wanted to show it off to you guys. Show, as you can tell, I'm really excited for this. We're gonna talk about this mainly because I want to show this. Want to show you this now because this is something fairly new that came out, and the prices are going to go crazy on this. I can already tell. Mainly because you know, you should know anything Kingdom Hearts related sells like that. Once they're gone, yeesh, you know what I'm saying. So. A little bit of history real quick. I bought this on Amazon for a hundred dollars. Yep, hundred bucks. Totally worth it. Uh, it would in normal prices for these things are around 120. If you have the if you have an Amazon Prime, I highly recommend getting this figure now. That's what I did. I did the free trial thing, and don't worry, I'm gonna make sure I log out of there so they don't charge me $99 for the year. Um, so yeah, the Play Arts Kai Riku. Now let me just say Play Arts Kai, their figures are simply amazing to begin with. Uh, some of them are a little, like, they have their own little anime Japanese style, especially with the DC figures. I've never been into crazy about Play Arts Kai before, mainly because those are some big figures, man. They're not your standard Marvel Legends figures, and that's what I really care about. I really care about the size comparison, you know, making sure, like, I don't have a giant Goku and a small Naruto, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it, this is, this right over here, you know, you know, you know, I keep showing you this. Let me show you the inside of it real quick. Yeah, that looks nice. Look at that. Got all the um, the Keyblade, all this great stuff right here. Now, the thing about um, why I got this is, well, because mainly I'm like, well, first of all, I'm a huge Kingdom Hearts fan. And the thing about it is that I have dreamed of a Riku figure for so long, especially when I was little. Uh, I know we used to get the Play Arts figures, which were this guy's right over here, Sora and Riku, which were great, but like, I mean, first of all, look at the size comparison between, between these two. Doesn't make much sense at all. And the thing was, like, they made a Kyrie, they made an Axel, they made a Roxas, but they never made a Kingdom Hearts 2 Riku. Always disappointing me. I'm like, man, I can't believe they, did, they didn't do it. But hey, they finally did it. Play Arts Kai. Um, let's, we're, I'm gonna unbox this. I'm gonna show you this guy's uh, up close and personal. Now, you have a very nice description over here. Um, for Riku. Riku had fallen once to the darkness. Yeah, I should probably read this in my Mickey Mouse voice. Ready? <clears throat> Riku had once... No, wait, wait, right, here we go. Riku had fallen once to the darkness. Sora had lost his memory and turned into a heartless until his best friend brought him back by challenging Sora's nobody, Roxas. All right, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but it has a very nice description about Riku. If you don't know him, which, what the hell? You should know him. He's a very important, very vital character to the Kingdom Hearts series. So, you know what? Let me, let me go ahead and unbox this thing right now. Mm. Show you the figure nice and close. Whew! Riku! <laughs> oh, God, guys. You, you don't understand. All right. Okay, so here we have him wrapped in a nice um, plastic part right over here. Take this, um, take this out. It doesn't come with much accessories, just look at this, it's basically just your standard Riku figure. Oh, whew, you gotta love the smell of that new, fresh new plastic, it's always great. So, okay, we've got the, I gotta make sure this doesn't fall, hope you guys can see it. We got Riku, we've got the Way to Dawn Keyblade, and we've got uh, three interchangeable hands. So, let me just tell you, like, the, the thing about these hands though, that have scared me, because I've seen some reviews on this thing. Is getting the Keyblade on, because if you, ready, I'm going to pull out the hand. I don't know if you guys can see this, I'm sorry. But if you notice, the thumb is extremely, it's like this. How the heck are you supposed to put the Keyblade on this? There's no, like, little joint over here for you to move it, open and close it. It's just like that. So you're going to have to pull it out, which ooh, scares the hell out of me. Because, you know, that thing could break. And I don't feel like spending another $100 on this Riku. But let's just look at this Keyblade. This is a nice looking Keyblade. The Way to Dawn looks beautiful. Now, this is, um, this isn't like a chain kind of thing. It's just a piece of plastic over here, but it looks really nice. I like how it is. The Way to Dawn, pretty cool stuff. I like it. So now let's take a look at... Here is somewhat of a close-up of Riku. I just want to give you guys a quick, uh, 
Look at his face real quick. The paint, the details, everything is nice so far. The Way to Dawn Keyblade is looking fantastic. There you go. Like I said before, a nice little piece over there. Butt looks pretty good. There you go. Yeah, he double jointed in the knees. Uh, yep, there you go. Nice close-up. Again, I'll be doing a separate video more to give you a better look at Riku. But, yeah, pretty good. I like the detail so far. Very nice. Arms up and down. Forward and back. Yep. Elbow articulation. You got some nice wrist movements right over here. Legs. They have this really, um, cringy joint on it. Go do a split. Forward. Uh, back. You have some waist movement over here. Not too much, but just enough. The head, the head is kind of limited because of his long hair right over here. But aside from that, you can definitely get this guy in some sick poses. Now, I'm not going to try to put the Keyblade on here right now. Oh, wait, maybe I can put it on here. Huh. Oh, okay, yeah, cool, cool. This actually isn't too bad. If you just want to just have the Keyblade in for right now, it looks pretty good. But again, you'd want to use the other hand. I'm telling you, once you put this thing on that hand, you are never getting it out. Unless for whatever weird reason, you want to get it out. But oh my god, this, this is one beautiful, beautiful looking figure. Play Arts Kai. Uh, I forget if I ever mentioned this, but I never, this is my first Play Arts Kai figure. And I just had to get it because it was Riku. And this is beautiful. Really, really well crafted. Again, I'm going to do a close-up video later to show you guys. Really appreciate it. Now, let's compare the size to his Kingdom Hearts 1. Yeah, that's not too bad. Actually, it looks, it's kind of in the scale. I like that. But if we put him next to his, um, the Play Art Sora figure, this shit doesn't make any sense over here. And you can look at the size difference. Riku is fairly taller. A little bit too tall this way. I, I have to get the Play Art Sky Sora now. Let's put him next to, uh, Mickey. Now, okay, this, this kind of makes sense. I like this size. This looks straight out of the game. This is the Play Arts Mickey figure, in case you're wondering. So, I think, I think that's really it, guys, for this video. Uh, Riku, uh, I love the box. I love the figure. Play Arts Kai's, they do an amazing job on all their other figures. And this, for this being my first figure, I really enjoy it. Again, I, I have to show you this up close and personal so you get a real appreciation for this figure. But... Absolutely beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. If you have the money now, definitely get it. I'm telling you guys, these things are going to go crazy. Like the Sora figure that I'm looking for, I'm pretty sure it was around the same price, maybe $120. i am about to spend like $170 on it. But after looking at this figure, flawless. <coughs> Riku, just remember, pal, there's always a little bit of light. <laughs> oh my god, so awesome, so awesome. Alright guys, well, I, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I helped you determine whether or not you should get this Riku figure. Definitely get it. If you're a Kingdom Hearts fan, you need this. I'm telling you right now, it, once you see it up close and personal, you gotta have it. I think that's it. Leave your comments. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Tell me, are you planning on, do you think you might get the Riku figure? Again, definitely worth getting. So, until next time, guys. I think I'll catch you later. Bye, pal. I'll see you real soon. <laughs>